Welcome to Formation. Today I'll be having a conversation with someone I bet you know if you live in Fort Worth, Texas. Join us. Welcome to Formation. My name is Shannon Moore. This is a weekly podcast from University Christian Church in Fort Worth, Texas, where each week I sit down with people and just talk about their faith journey and their spiritual formation. And I'm really, really happy today to have a living legend with us, Miss Mary Ruth Jones. Mary Ruth, thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. You know you're a legend, right? Well, maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get to how you got to legend status here in a little bit, but um, I always like to um, start out by asking folks about what their faith was like as a child. Where, where did you grow up? Uh, did you go to church? That sort of thing. Well, I grew up in Wichita Falls. Okay. Uh, my parents were members of the, and then I became a member of the church, First Christian Church. At that time, it was downtown. Okay. And eventually, they built a facility out near Midwestern. But that's where I grew up. Was it a large church? Yes, yes. It was one of the uh, pretty much disciple churches, mm -hmm. uh, larger churches. And what was worship like? Was there an organ or piano, or what was the style of worship? You know, I think it was an organ, mm -hmm. but <laughs> in, in all of those years I've forgotten. But uh, had, we had a lot of music and uh, Sunday school, and I uh, eventually joined uh, the youth groups. Was that a pretty vibrant? Yes. Group, the youth group. Yes, it is. Yes, mm -hmm. it was. And uh, we partnered with a lot of the cities, Vernon, Albany, all of those. Brown, we went to Brownwood oh, for, for church camp. For mm -hmm. church camp. So you were a camp kid. I was a camp kid. And you loved it? I loved it. It was very good. It, I think it helped uh, foster my faith journey, mm -hmm. and I met uh, a lot of people during those years. We went to uh, TCU in the summer for a program. Okay. So you would go camp and then also to TCU for a Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can't remember what they actually called it, mm -hmm. but it was Disciples, and uh, it was pretty large, you know, a large group. Now, is that where your uh, love for TCU developed, was by coming yes, to yes. those sessions I had, in the summer? I had family that were mostly OU people, uh -huh. and I considered going to OU, but oh. the process of going to TCU during the summer, meeting all those people, knowing that some of them were going to be at, T at TCU. Mm -hmm. I think that... That helped you make, make your decision. decision. So you graduated from high school. 1954. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, came to Fort Worth yes. to TCU. What was that like in 1954? Well, uh, Granville Walker was the minister then. Here at University Christian Church. Church. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I joined the, uh, coll the college group. Was UCC much larger than the church you came from in Wichita Falls or about the same size? Um, a little little larger. Okay. Yeah. Cause but it, it wasn't was, overwhelming for you. You were accustomed no, to a no. larger, larger yeah. church. So it was... Uh, a good transition, and uh, as I said, I met people. Uh, one of the people that I met at camp and went to church camp was Gene, uh, uh, our former chance of uh, president. Gene Tucker. Tucker. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, we met. 
Oh, great. And, and her uh, John Rex Jones. She was a Jones, okay. by the way. And uh, we uh, were friends way back mm -hmm. then. So was it just sort of ex expected from your parents, or maybe you had developed the, your own expectation by this point, that when you came to college at TCU, that University Christian Church would also be part of that experience? Was that an expectation, or was that a decision that, did you look at other churches, or what was? No, I think I, as being a, a disciple, I, and of course, TCU was in their early years, mm -hmm. and uh, then of course we've celebrated our 150th, and also UCC now. Right. When I came, the church, of course, was here. Mm -hmm. But in when they first started, the they met at TCU, right? Because they didn't have a facility for several years. So, how big was the campus in 1954 <laughs> at TCU? It was pretty small. <laughs> pretty small. Was it all on one side of the street? Pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, the chapel was there. Okay. And I think the uh, building, next, the original library was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, Winton Scott was there. Okay. Because I had classes in there. And what was your major? Elementary education. All right. Yeah. Did you live on campus? I did. And what was that like? It was great. Uh, at the time, Jarvis was a men's on my in my freshman year, but Foster and Waits were the two female halls, and I lived in Foster, and our main person. Uh, the house mother, I guess you would call her, was not only the house mother, she was the dean of women. Oh. <laughs> so I bet that was a pretty tightly run ship. ship. Oh, <laughs> well, we had curfews. Well, we, did you ever miss it? Uh, maybe uh, not, not, <laughs> not, not, not uh, that I th thought about it anyway. But yes, we had to be in our dorm room at 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. except on weekends, and we got on Friday and Saturday, we could stay out till 11. Ooh. Well, you know, they say nothing good happens after 11 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> so and that nowadays, that's when they go out. Right, that's, right, now, the evening just starting now. Yeah, uh, right. So what was your faith journey like during that time is, you know, you grew up going to church, you moved here, just automatically started going to church. Did your, how did your come into uh, Fort Worth being at TCU and UCC, how did your faith develop during that time? I think it grew. Uh, I went to church, I joined the, the college group, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it fostered uh, and then, as I said, I knew some people that that were here also. So, mm -hmm. so you had some built-in friends, friends. actually. Yeah, from, I, th I think that helped too. From camp and from the TCU events. And when I arrived in the fall of '54, there were no sorority and fraternities on campus. They were planning to have them on campus in January. And so the original eight fraternities and sororities came about in January of 55. 55. Did you join one? I did. Which I, one? Zeta Tau Alpha. I was a charter member. Were you really? Yes. And uh, of that chapter. Of that chapter. chapter. How about that? And so how many um, women were in that first? 25. 25 of you. And nowadays they have generally 80 or more mm -hmm. new members. Are you still active 
I'm active with the alumni, mm -hmm. and we have a group now uh, called the White Violets, which is our our flower. Uh -huh. And we this group meets uh, four times a year, and it's all of us that have been out of college over 50 years. Wow, what a rich. Uh, history of these long time friendships that you've, I know that you've had you're yeah, so fortunate and of in that. course this this group are from all different chapters right. you know University of Texas uh, SMU and OU had chapters back then but they they have gone away okay. from their right. campuses well, we're going to take a short break, and then when we come back, I want to hear what happened after you graduated from TCU. Yeah. <laughs> so we will be right back and continue this conversation with Mary Ruth. The members of University Christian Church have a message for you. You are valuable, worthy of love, and already part of what God is doing in the world. We invite you to join us Sunday mornings for worship. Traditional worship in our sanctuary at 9 and 11. Simple worship in the chapel at 9.30 or visit our 1010 service in Walker Hall. We are a church of open-minded people who value curiosity and recognize we don't have all the answers. We strive to be open and honest about where we are on our faith journey. We practice compassion and generosity. All are welcome at University Christian Church where you can experience Christ's courageous love for yourself and learn to carry that love with you wherever you go. Discover more about our programs and upcoming events at universitychristian.org and stay connected by following us on social media. We are back continuing a conversation with Mary Ruth Jones. So Mary Ruth, you um, grew up in Wichita Falls, you came to TCU, and you graduated what year? 1958 in January. Okay. I was an elementary education major. Uh, Bruce Schulke uh, gave me a letter saying that I had a job in January and he wanted me to come out to Greenbrier Elementary. They were adding a second grade. That's here in Fort Worth? Uh huh, mm -hmm. South Fort Worth. And so I actually started in Greenbrier before because they didn't, the back then you didn't, uh, over Christmas you were having to study for finals. Oh right. They had, yeah. It was the. Yeah, so I started uh, in the second grade. Uh, I was the uh, uh, fifth, uh, second grade there. Okay taught there uh, nine years, and uh, I uh, was pregnant. Back then, you had to, if you were showing, you had to quit. Oh, wow. Yeah. When did, now, when did you get married? I, I married in 1963. Okay. Met my husband. We had mutual friends. The woman uh, was grew up in First Christian Church, mm -hmm. and then uh, Louis's friend, and they introduced us, and we married the uh, week after John Kennedy was killed. Oh my goodness! Yes, here, here in yeah, Granville married us. Okay, and we. Uh, we spent that whole week, you can imagine, with television and, and everything. So it was kind of a crazy thing because sure. that was the 22nd was when he as was assassinated. Mm -hmm. And Louis wor worked at the Fort, old Fort Worth National mm. and John Kennedy appeared outside the Fort Worth National Bank and Louie heard him speak wow. about two hours before he was My assassinated. Goodness, that's incredible. I know. It, wow. It, I had to make my report cards out on the night before 
uh, the wedding because uh, it was the end of a six week. <laughs> <laughs> so you're teaching, you get pregnant, and you can't work if you're showing. Yeah. So you took a break, break in and January, and the twins, boys, uh -huh. Mark and Clark, were born on the 21st of April. Okay. And uh, that was quite an experience because that was before sonograms and before disposable diapers. Did you know you were having twins? No. Oh! <laughs> My OBGYN never heard a second heartbeat. Oh my goodness. So when he delivered Clark, who was the first one, he held up this little five pound, I found out, uh, you know, what he weighed, and four minutes later, he said, my law, there's another one. <laughs> oh, you and probably this said is more back than that. when fathers were not in the delivery right. room. So they, I said, I've got to see him. They put the, the babies on the bed beside me and had called him in <laughs> and I had been in labor for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And he walked in and he said, how much longer is this going to be? And I lifted the covers back. <laughs> well, that was a big surprise for both of you, I yes. guess. Now, did you go back to teaching eventually? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, I, at that point, I uh, was doing some stuff uh, with a sorority, mainly raising the twins, right. and then uh, four years later, I had Julie, my girl, mm -hmm. and uh, so in 1983, I was thinking about going back to work mm -hmm. because they were in middle school and high school, and uh, I thought, well, maybe I'll see about working at TCU. Right. And so I applied and I got a, a job in extended ed first. Okay. And then eventually I was in housing and was in housing when Clark and Mark started TCU and I was able to use the tuition benefit for right. them. Very good. And it was immediate. So when I was in uh, 83 when I uh, joined, uh, they started in 85 and I had immediate tuition benefits That's for That's great. That's incredible. And what was your role in the housing? Well, it, in extended ed, I worked uh, with uh, General Motors. They had a, a, a program where they trained people, and I was their secretary mm -hmm. for a couple of years, and then I went in housing. And I stayed in housing 37 years. And that is why you're a legend, because <laughs> so many people oh. know you from their experience at TCU. Right. And to many people, you are TCU. <laughs> <laughs> What was that, how would you describe those years at TCU? I think they were wonderful. I got to know the students of, I worked in the housing office for about 20 years, mm -hmm. which that was uh, in the old student center. And then uh, eventually uh, I started after, what was it? Uh, trying to think of the exact year, but anyway, I was uh, uh, working in the residence hall. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine how many students I came across. I've had some of them come up to me and say, you may not remember me, but I was at 
this is when I was uh, in Shirley, I think, and they, he said, uh, I came to your hall to visit, and at first you didn't, you kind of perused me, you know, <laughs> whatever. Finally, you said, finally, you had, I had been there so long that you said, I, oh, you can just come on in. <laughs> <laughs> So, and I'm sure you run into people all the time. Oh yes. That that we know we you. have we I think I mentioned we have this group that's been out of TCU mm -hmm. and other for 50 years, and then we have a that's the called the Quink Club. Okay. The 50, and then we have a now a retiree association, and we meet monthly. That's wonderful. What was your retirement like? Were you sad to retire? Were you excited? No, it was during COVID. Okay. 2022, I, uh, I was there during spring break, which is when the, mm -hmm. it all happened. And my boss came and told me, uh, said, don't come back tomorrow. And that's when they closed the university mm -hmm. for COVID. And so they had a thing called COVID leave. So I was paid during that rest of that semester. And then they wanted me to come back in the fall. And I said, no, I think it's time to re <laughs> retire. <laughs> well, um, and you, that was, uh, you felt it was the right time, time. and well, uh, yeah, I was yeah. eighty-four years old. <laughs> I think you're, that's you're such a slacker, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I just think it's so wonderful that uh, you had all those years at TCU, and you love TCU, and people. I don't know anybody who doesn't love you, Mary Ruth. And, well, thank uh, you. You're such a fixture here at the church and at TCU, and. We just love you. Well, I appreciate that. And I thank you so much for being on today and sharing a little bit of your story with us. I know we could have talked for a lot longer. That's okay. <laughs> but uh, really interesting stuff. And uh, I've been wanting you on here for a while. So well, thanks. thanks for... Well, the for fact that I've been a, a disciple all my life mm -hmm. and and also got to celebrate the 150th of not only TCU but right. the, but the uh, and the and UCC. UCC and uh, I think it speaks volumes that your faith really was the path for yeah. your career for your um, your family you know all of that came from your from your faith your growing up and your parents raising you in the in the church and so um, I think that's a real testament so thank you for sharing that and thank you for watching if you would like to uh, sit where Mary Ruth is sitting today and share your story I hope you'll let me know send me an email formation at uccftw.com take care have a great week